Good morning. Thanks for joining me at Coffee with Corey. Well, we've spent the past week or more, really, um, preparing ourselves for Pierce's graduation. He graduates from Lincoln High School tomorrow on Sunday. And, you know, we, and we had his graduation open house here last night and it, it went off without a hitch. Jossie always does a magnificent job of putting everything together. Um, anytime there's a gathering to be had, Jossie's the planner. And uh, so kudos to you, sweetheart. Uh, you did a magnificent job as always. My small contribution to that was uh, looking through oodles and oodles of pictures to, you know, to pick some out and put on the boards. And I will tell you, the uh, looking through those pictures and uh, seeing some of the faces that I haven't seen for a while and reliving some of those memories, that was pretty special for me. And, you know, the, the other part that, that, really, uh, that really hit me was just the, the process from Pierce turning from that, that little boy that, uh, you know, he was always dependent upon us for everything. And uh, now it's just turned into having one of my best friends live in the house with us. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very special. And uh, so big shout out to Pierce. I'm proud of you, son. And um, I can't wait to see all the uh, cool things that you'll do with your life in the years to come. Um, you know, over the last few weeks, we've been attending a lot of graduation open houses. And, it, you know, it, it has struck me that you know, there, there's a number of parents out there that I've visited with that, that kind of seem to be struggling with their children graduating, uh, you know, the sadness and, oh gosh, you know, like they're, they're all grown up. And I, I'm here to tell you, and, and maybe just, you know, put my arm around uh, some, of, some of the parents that are feeling those, uh, those feelings that trust me from a guy that's, that's seen four older kids move out of the house already, the, the memories that you can create and the times you get to have with your children in the next phase of their life it is so rewarding. And it, it is, um, you know, some of those memories that we've created after high school with our older kids have been um, just, just really wonderful memories. And, uh, you know, so I, I know it, the, uh, the, the best is really yet to come. And uh, that, that's what always makes me smile as I look back on those, all those memories from our kids when they were younger. You know, those are always locked in your heart and your mind anyway. So, uh, you know, looking forward and, and uh, really um, being optimistic for, uh, for what's to come is, I think that's key. Um, the, uh, the, the item that I wanted to throw out for, uh, for any of the, the young people that might have coffee with us is a quote that I saw on my Instagram feed. And I will tell you, I scrolled through my Instagram feed this morning, I could not find it again. But probably the, uh, the idea of what I took out of it is, is probably more crucial than the actual quote itself. But it really um, referenced back to the point of not planning your life and really basing your life on trying to find those moments that are just over the top and, um, and the, those giant events, but rather seeking a life where you're content, you're happy, you're bringing value and joy to those that, uh, that you surround yourself with. And that is where your biggest joy will come from. It's just those daily things in life that uh, that you get to experience and uh, you know it doesn't mean that you can't continue striving for for goals I mean we talk about that often on coffee with Corey all the things that uh, that I hope to accomplish and uh, help others with but seeking and and uh, recognizing the joy in your daily life is uh, I think that's pretty critical to not feeling as though you are, uh, you're missing something. Um, and it's pretty critical to being fulfilled on a daily basis. So that's the uh, little nugget that I wanted to share with you today. Again, I apologize, I couldn't find that on Instagram uh, to be able to, to uh, give credit to the person that, that had the quote that inspired uh, and put those thoughts in my mind. But nonetheless, um, it, was, it was an important point to share. So. Um, enjoy graduations, everybody, and I really appreciate you having uh, some coffee with me this morning. I hope to see you next week on Coffee with Corey.